What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. And yes, if you guys are wondering what this big old surprise was, it's right here guys. We're going to be doing this game live com because we figured out that, hey, you know, desktop actually works better on a disc movie than uh, a 10 year old laptop. Yeah, for the longest time guys, I've been doing all my disc movie walkthroughs on a 10 year old laptop that I've had from the very beginning, whenever, when... I was Draven XC711. Uh, really, really felt unmotivated to do any kind of a DS or any DS games just because of that, the lagging and all that stuff. But thanks to that little snag that we hit in Pokemon Platinum, yeah, we discovered that we can actually use a desktop for to this Mume. Yeah. So this whole thing's going to be live com. Now I do want to say excuse me and excuse the game if. The sound or the songs kind of sound a little slow. Sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's fast. This is the best thing that I can do right now. And, uh, yeah, you know, I just want to say that. I don't know. Like it if you will, watch it if you will, but this is going to be a live calm walkthrough right here for Pokemon Black. Now, if you guys may have remembered, I actually played Pokemon Black twice when I was Draven XC711. Didn't work out very well because, yeah, I kind of dragged it, I kind of sped it up. I kind of didn't really like the way uh, or the outcomes of it. So this is going to be the complete game, you know, and event, and the eventual Pokemon uh, Pokemon League event, which will be on, I guess, uh, 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 the later game, I guess. I don't even know. But let's continue on right here. So here we have the lovely Professor Juniper, and she's going to be like, Hi there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And here she comes out with her favorite Pokemon. Lovely, cuddly, I think Minichino, right? Yeah. That's right. This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in shapes and in, live in many places. Now, it's many shapes live in many different di uh, places. Again, excuse Draven. He is not really good at reading. <laughs> we humans live happily with Pokemon. Living and working together, we complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another, or ha having Pokemon battle one another, is particularly popular, and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that's why I research Pokemon. Alrighty, so well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? And yes, ma'am. Look at that. You got a strapping young lad, and you got a pretty, pretty good-looking lad, yeah, young lady right there. So, as you guys already know, I'm a man. I'm a manly man. That's right. But we're going to be playing a 10 to 13 year old boy right here, so she's going to try and figure out what our name is. I don't even know. We're not even new in town, but we're new in this region right here because uh, we are the champs of four regions now going in for our fifth region. And, uh, well, as you guys already know, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. Or if you guys remember this old one, it's your badass host, your badass coach. Yes, it's me, Draven. You guys remember that one? When I was Draven X7 alone, that's hilarious. So, let's go ahead and pick that one, Draven. Ah, your name is Draven. Yes, ma'am. So, your, your name is Draven. That's a wonderful name. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to two of your best friends. This young man is Charon. He can be a little difficult, but he's, very, uh, he's a very honest person. This young lady right here, her name is Bianca. She's a little flighty. A little what? A little flighty, but she works very hard. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Draven, the moment you choose to po uh, choose the Pokemon that will accompany you in your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find uh, what is, what's important to you in all of these travels. That's right, befriend new po uh, people and Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. It's autumn. Okay, guys, so here we are. Very first town. I don't remember the name of the town, but there is the lovely Professor Juniper. Mm, 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 mm. And yes, this is Pokemon Black, the Redemption Tour. This is the third time we're playing this. And again, we're going to complete it in all its entirety right there, guys. And uh, like I said before, excuse the music, the lagginess, just a little bit. This is live calm, whatever. I don't even know. Jaren's like, Draven, I heard from Professor Juniper we can have a Pokemon. Da 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 da. What 
Let's give me Bianca! Hmm, I don't know. Oh, there she is! Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca, I've known you for 10 years that... Wait, 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 wait. I've known for 10 years that you have no sense of time, but seriously! Today's the day we get to, we get to meet, uh, we'll get a Pokemon for Professor Juniper! Oh yeah, she's like, oh, whatever. I know, sorry Draven, sorry Charon. And let's see, so, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Draven's house, and uh, so Draven gets the first pick! Naturally. <laughs> the Pokemon are waiting for us inside the gift box. Okay, Draven, you go first and take a peek at your gift uh, at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now! Okay. So, here it is, guys. The moment of truth. We're going to be picking out Pokemon. Now, off screen, well, during the weeks, you guys have been picking Pokemon. Um, I've been looking at different teams, different styles, and all that stuff. And for this walkthrough, I'm going to do my best to actually pick out a very good team. I also want to use Pokemon that I have not used in, po in Unova. Now, again, Unova is a very, very foreign land to me, be mainly because I sort of kind of rushed into uh, playing this game uh, twice and never really got introduced to the Pokemon that can actually help you in this one right here. Now, remember, in Pokemon Black and White, you're only allowed to use Pokemon native to the land of U uh, Unova, so there's going to be no Generation 1 through 4 Pokemon right here, only Generation 5 Pokemon, so we're going to really have to pick out a good team right here. So, let's go ahead and check out the Pokemon. So, we opened up the gift box. Oh yes, look at that. That's awesome. I bought three Pokemon. One of you, uh, one of you, or one for each of you, you and your friends, please settle your choices uh, politely. Enjoy your Pokemon. Professor Juniper. Now, if it was up to me, I'd have all three of them. I really would. That way, it covers everything I have. Okay, so let's open up this uh, this gift box right here. And as always, there's three starters. You got the Fire-type Pokemon, Tepig, the Grass-type Pokemon, Snivy, and the Water-type Pokemon, Oshawa. Now, this is the triangle. This is a Paper, Rock, Scissors kind of scenario right here. And many of you guys already... You guys have been vocal of what kind of Pokemon I should have for the team. And like I said, I've been researching different teams, different kinds of Pokemon and all that stuff. Uh, there are going to be some Pokemon that I use again. There's going to be some new Pokemon that I, I'm going to be using for the first time. And, uh, you know, later along the way, you guys are going to be maybe seeing a few changes here and there. You know, like, uh, I don't even know. Maybe changing up Pokemon here and there, just like I do in every single version. And then uh, you guys will eventually see them in later uh, walkthroughs right here. But as of right now, I'm going to be choosing out the very first Pokemon because you guys have been choosing or have been needy and all that stuff. Now, here we have Snivy, the grass type Pokemon. Never used this Pokemon in a walkthrough before. I kind of, like low key, I kind of wanted uh, many of you guys to choose Snivy because uh, this Pokemon right here in this walkthrough or in this, uh, this version of Pokemon very very difficult to actually train up especially when like you know the first four gym leaders are kind of you know if you on the grass type Pokemon now the next Pokemon is Tepic the fire type Pokemon it you it, it later evolves into what was it Pignite Pignite Pig Hammer I, I can't remember the name of it I would call it Pig Hammer why didn't they call this guy Pig Hammer god dang it so it later evolves into a fire slash fighting type Pokemon continuing the trend of fire slash fire uh, fighting Pokemon uh, if you guys don't remember, when I was Draven XC 7-Eleven, this was the last Pokemon, the last starter Pokemon in Unova I chose. Did I have good luck with it? Yes, I kind of did. I picked out a very good team with it. But I also felt that it was like, you know, the team was a mixture of like slow and fast and not so much defensive Pokemon, if you guys can't remember. And then the last Pokemon right here, Oshawa, the water type Pokemon. It eventually evolves into a Samurott. Kind of, you know, a samurai Pokemon right here. This Pokemon I actually chose for the very first time back in 2011. Not knowing what it what it would do, not knowing what capabilities it would have. I did build a good team. Now, if you guys remember, back in 2011, yeah, I kind of hacked the next two Pokemon because, oh, you know what? Wouldn't it be cool to have these two Pokemon on your team? Didn't really work out. You guys didn't really like it. And, yeah. That kind of just like, you know, turned me off from Pokemon Black and White and all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and choose the next starter Pokemon right here. So, which one did you guys choose? Man, you guys are going to be surprised right here. Not really. You're going to be surprised right now. So, the Pokemon you guys chose for me again in the, what was it? Fourth, the fourth time ever. 
will be... Dun, 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 dun. Oshawa, right here. Yes, guys, you guys have chosen Oshawa for the team. So I'm going to be picking this guy, and I already have a nickname in, uh, in mind for this guy right here, since it will evolve into a samurai Pokemon right here. So there it is. Draven chose Oshawa. And, of course, Bianca will actually uh, choose the Pokemon for herself and then for her best friend right here. Of course, Bianca, not so savvy on the Pokemon part. So she's going to be picking the Pokemon weaker to us while she gives the other Pokemon stronger to us to Charon. Because, you know, why not? He's the smarter guy. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Charon, that one's yours. He's like, hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted a Snivy from the start anyway. Hmm. Bianca's like, everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Charon's like, honestly, Bianca, even though there are still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have a po or you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. Eh, don't be a worry, Wart. These little ones are weak. Like you said, we have to let them battle so they'll uh, get stronger. It's settled, Draven. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're going to be battling one of our best friends, Bianca. Mm-hmm. Look at that. See, she kind of looks like Barry in a little bit, but she's a little ditzy. But I like her. I like her way better than Barry. Hell yeah. So here she comes out with Tapig. Again, Bianca, not so savvy with Pokemon. So she will be picking the element weaker to our Pokemon right here. So here we go. Let's get it. All right. So just like always, every single Pokemon right here. Um... Every single starter Pokemon will have its, uh, you know, tackle and uh, tail whip. Usually, usually I pick the Pokemon with a scratch attack. I, I kind of find that a little bit more easier for me, but tackle attack, whatever. And then here we go. You know, the tackle attack. Freaking Tapic right here. How did it get faster than us? I don't know. So here we go again. Tackle attack. And here she comes out with a tail whip. And, uh, okay, this is going to be a little difficult right here. Bam. Nearly defeats this Tapig, so we got one more hit, and, uh, well, it should have hit us right now, but that's that. There's our first victory, guys. I'm throwing out peace sign like uh, Ash Cash, and look at that. And uh, we nearly grow to level 6, and there it is, our first victory against Bianca. And she's like, Pokemon both sides did their best, and we get some money, yes. Now, after the fight, look at that. My room is wrecked. Like, wrecked with the KT. And she's like, wow, Draven, you're going to be an awesome trainer someday. I can tell. No doubt. Hmm. And, uh, of course, Sharon's like, hmm. Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? She's looking around. She's so funny. Well, what, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing. So little, so, but so strong. I'm so glad that I got to have a Pokemon. Oh, I'm sorry about your room, Draven. <laughs> and Sharon's like, you are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. And uh, here, well, he's, he's, he's restoring our Pokemon. Now remember, in Pokemon Black and White, you're going to be battling twice. Your rival twice, I should say. And uh, yeah, Bianca's like, hey, Sharon, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning uh, the room into a disaster like I did. <laughs> and Jared's like, I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room get, from getting any mess here. Besides, it's not fair to it's not fair if you two are the only ones battling or, or the only ones who get to have fun battling. Okay, so here it is, our second battle against, uh, I guess, our so-called best friend right here, Jared. It's decided you'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Well, let's see what you can do, Snivy. Here it is, guys. Round two. Fight. And it's Sharon. Super brain. He's super brainy right here. And I, I, I can tell he's brainy because of the glasses right there. It makes him look super smart. Now, of course, he's very savvy. He will have the Pokemon whose element is stronger than yours. And of course, you get a, you get a Oshawa. So he'll be having a Snivy right here. So let's go right ahead and just destroy this guy. And of course, Snivy is a little bit faster than us. And uh, yeah, Snivy is looking like a. Like a little bit of a problem right there. So we're going to keep on tackling right here. And this guy continues on with his tackle attack onslaught. And uh, you know what? I'm going to take something from his handbook right here. Let him tackle me. I'm going to use a tail whip. 
And hopefully in two turns we can beat him. And, uh, alrighty. So let's go with the tackle attack. And uh, he's going to be using a leer attack. So he's doing the same thing right here. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. Tackle attack. Takes a nice tank. And here we go again. One more. And alrighty. We're going to win this one. Now, I've, I've already recorded, uh, well, I've already recorded a, uh, <laughs> an original Pokemon Black walkthrough episode. I lost against Charon, but this time I am doing it right. Winning! Oshawa is the victor. Hell yeah. Alrighty, so he's like, ah, so the po that's a Pokemon battle. Ah, uh, don't act stupid, Charon. You're the Brainiac in all this, okay? I'm the brawn, you're the brains, and she's the looks. That's how it works, guys. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but... This feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we'd better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. <laughs> Bianca's like, oh, I'd better come too. Okay, alrighty. Okay, guys, so let's go right ahead and check out our very first Pokemon. Actually, first at first, we gotta use uh, the options right here. Take that fast, and uh, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our first Pokemon right here, and it's Oshua. The water type Pokemon, it has a bold nature, and of course, we started on the 15th of March. I don't know when this episode's gonna come out, but yes, it's gonna be awesome right here. So, as you can see, it does have Torrent as its ability. It powers up water type moves by a pinch if, you know, its HP is low. And, uh, let's see, if it's a bold nature, if I'm not mistaken, it both its attack and defense. I think its defense gets boosted up while its attack goes down, so. I may or may not have to change that up uh, eh, later on, I don't even know, I'm more of an attacker guy, but it's special attack, it's where it's at, so that's pretty much the that's pretty much the stat that really uh, gets me right here. I need a special attacker, Oshawa fits the bill right there, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right there guys. So, we're going to end the episode right here, in this, uh, this right here, okay, and the next episode's going to be all instruction and whatnot. Yeah, and it's going to be all instruction. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Pokemon Black Livecom. And, uh, well, more to come, guys. More to come. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.